So I just want to show you um, how we use tanking slurry on swimming pools. So this is a fairly, I would say medium size, a small or medium size swimming pool built by concrete blocks. So concrete blocks are probably fairly easy to sort of lay and you know, you can probably build a pool gradually. The problem with concrete blocks and generally concrete is it's very porous. So uh, it's not waterproof. As you can see, the sort of the texture um, on a concrete is, you know, if your water is actually, you know, touches the concrete, it will just actually get absorbed. Um, we can probably see some examples down there where it's been raining. So you can see the concrete just gets wet. It absorbs so much water like a sponge. So the the things they can do on swimming pools made by concrete is either line them, so put a liner, which is basically like a plastic sheet or vinyl sheet. Um, and that will form like a, effectively um, a waterproof section, you know, completely, you know, detaches your uh, concrete from where the water is. Or they use effectively a uh, tanking solution or what is known as tanking slurry. So in this section, I'm actually going to build the steps. Um, strictly speaking, I didn't really need to tank this section because the step going to be mainly touching the water. But I just wanted to be sure, just in case there's some like in a small, you know, um, cracks between where the step will be and the wall, what is behind it will be completely waterproof. So I used tanking slurry. Um, it's basically powder material that you mix with water and SPR, and you just basically, um, you know, is use a painting brush to uh, paint on the wall. So you can completely see the texture difference. So this is where the original concrete blocks has been. Uh, you can see how uh, sort of porous that section would be. And that's where you actually put the tanking slurry. It gives this complete look and a coat on top of it. Um, again, as I said, I wasn't really looking to uh, fully waterproof it because really, um, all I'm interested to actually make sure that this gives me an extra, you know, insurance sort of in a policy really against, you know, potential ingress from behind the steps because uh, the step itself will be completely, you know, attached to this wall uh, and that will be, you know, all over the surface of the step will be waterproof. But um, I'm actually quite pleased with it and I can see why uh, they recommend use of Tango Slurry because um, it's a really thick um, like coating that you can put on top of wherever you wanted it. Um, so here you can see I've only used say just one coat so it's not really sort of done anything whereas actually where I've used two coats you can clearly see um, that sort of you know porous section of the concrete is completely been you know um, it's like a film layer of film that goes on top of it. Um, I will be doing a test now in a minute um, just to see how well tanking slurry would work to retain the water so uh, I'll do a little couple of concrete pieces and then um, I just pour some water inside and see you know, whether you know water will you know go down or not but uh, i use this effectively product from ka um yeah i mean it's very sort of i would say out of all the tank slurry brands this was the cheapest one i used um i'm actually quite pleased with it i might actually use the same across the whole pool really um you can render um behind it so i think if we were to you know create a really nice surface obviously i will be rendering the rest of the pool and i'll show you later um, but here, as I said, this is nothing, no, this, this section will not be visible to anyone because a step will be, you know, covering it. But um, if you were to render, you can actually render first and then put what is known as SPR. So actually, the, you know, the tanking slurry will, you know, bond really well with that, you know, render you've done. So, um, yeah, quite um, nice, you know, start. And, you know, I just put this, put this last night and it's been raining. So uh, you can see a bit of like, you know, damping the just because of rain so there's nothing else and here where you know sun has been shining today it's got complete dry so um yeah watch out